Hey, morning everybody. Welcome back to Retro Car Dogs. Today is an exciting day. We're going to the Heidelberg Great Train Race, which is by invitation apparently. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Excuse me if I'm wrong. But thanks to all you subscribers for continuously supporting us and all the comments and the things that you say to us and do for us. We are really looking forward to this. This is going to be cars, classic cars, old steam trains, classic aeroplanes, a museum, lunch, the whole thing. So guys, stay tuned. And join us for this trip. You can see we're going with a 525E in the background. That's what we're going to go in today. We hope you're going to enjoy the videos with us. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe, like, tell all your buddies, put your notification bells on, go and watch us on Instagram. We're also on TikTok, so go there and support us as well, guys. Links will be uh, available in the commentaries or, or wherever Jordan's going to put it. You know me, can't, can't, can't really talk on camera. But, guys, thanks very much. Looking forward to an awesome trip. Bye for now. Guys, here's some very nice Morrises. These are beautiful. This is Brian's little collection of Morrises. Here they go. Look at this van. No, I'm too close. Look at that. The Morrises are coming out on a run. Today, look at this. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful vehicles. These are really nice Morrises. Really, really nice collection of Morrises. So yeah, guys, we're going to do some convoy stuff. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. The beam is going. Look how nice that looks. Hi everybody and welcome back to Retro Car Dogs. As we said, we're going to have something really exciting for you today. We are here in a little town called Heidelberg outside of Johannesburg and it is the great train race in Heidelberg which is like I said earlier classic cars, aeroplanes, classic aeroplanes and we're going to walk around and show you some of these things hopefully you enjoy it over here we've got a Cadillac you would have seen that in our previous videos one of the guys we videoed before very nice Cadillac now we're sort of getting into your Porsches over here and I'm not aficionado on Porsches I know that it's just very expensive nice cars very fast Maserati over here which is very very pretty car out of, out of the blue we've got good old Britain supporting us, Land Rover. Okay, probably broke down here. <laughs> and we'd like to get towed back. Okay, off to one of my favorites, and Jordan's favorite behind the camera, Lamborghini. We have Lambo fans, love them, absolutely stunning. Very, very pretty. I don't know if I'd go black because it shows the dirt so quick. Okay, Model T Ford. Very, very, very nice. Simplistic engineering. He got it right, Henry Ford. Very, very nice. Look at it. It's very pretty. Little wooden back in the in here at the back. Very nice. Very, very well restored vehicle. Very well restored vehicle. Let's carry on down here. So we've got quite a lot of cars to get through today. And as you can see, the atmosphere here is awesome. All credit to the guys who organized this. Gave us permission, said we could video. Very nice. Thank you. Big shout out to the organizers. Thank you very much for letting us do this absolutely awesome event we'll be filming some of the classic airplanes as well just now there's a lot of classic bikes as well which is nice 400 lovely big american bucky lovely beautiful chevy this oh. is the one we saw behind us yeah absolutely awesome awesome vehicle very 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 nice very nice restoration you can see they've modernized the headlights a little bit obviously for daily use it's just safer very very nice now well, it's going to sit a little bucket seat in it's an automatic thing in the back so nice, love the little wooden sides. Very, very nice. What a lovely day. 29 degrees today. It took us from where we live to here probably about an hour's drive. Traffic on the highways was very busy. Great turnout. Lovely to see people here given our situation with COVID. Classic Jag. Well, not so classic, but very, very nice Jaguar. Convertible, lovely. And of course, parked next to it, a Giant Slayer. A little Mini Cooper S. A little Giant Slayer. Lovely, lovely little cars. Monte Carlo, those who remember, did really really well very nice British racing green white stripes awesome as you can see in the background over here which we're going to take you to just now so for those of you who are aeroplane followers the whole bunch of aeroplanes here guys I know nothing about anything of aeroplanes except for Spitfires and Messerschmitt from the Second World War I love that 
but there's a whole bunch of airplanes there which I will not be able to tell you what they are but we're going to take you and show you those just now as well. The lovely cut's got a little fleck in the paint, very very nice. Mackie over there, Mac 1. Lovely, just pulled in, lots of cars pulling in. Can't be without it, the vehicle. Very very nice. Left original, not resprayed, nice patina. Very very nice little car. Rolls Royce, parked next to the best to the French. The Citroen, really lovely car. Very very nice car to drive, very comfortable car. Remember my aunt used to have one of those. Okay, I think this is a kit car, but it runs a Ford Kent motor, original old Kent motor. I think it's a kit car. Am I yes, right? it's a JBA kit. It's a JBA kit. So this is the only, so, so we run a YouTube channel. So can we interview your name is? Chris. Chris. Okay, I'm Alan. It's Jordan behind the camera. Tell us a little bit about your car. Okay, so this is part of a six kits that we brought into the country, we think in the 90s. Okay. Um, Where does it come from, the kit? Oh, from the UK. From the UK, it's yes. the UK kit, okay. Yes, yes. Fiberglass kit? Fiberglass, and the JBA are the initials of the three guys that started. Okay, what motor are you running the kit? The original kit? 1600. Four speed on the floor. Yeah. That, the one with the, the little rubber mounting and the gearbox that likes to give trouble every now and again. Exactly that one, it's giving trouble now. Oh, is it? Okay. Going to reverse instead of first? Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. And okay. Jordan, we've got to go and have a chat to those two ladies over there because the period dress is also part of the thing today. Sir, thank you very much. It's okay. very nice. These are the JBA girls. Oh, these are the JBA girls. Yes. Okay, come on. So, we run, ladies, hi. We run a YouTube channel, so uh, we're just going to ask you to tell us a little bit about your dress area, who you are, where you're from. My cameraman Jordan, so but, as you can see, ladies dressed period, looking lovely, absolutely awesome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm Nadia, and this is Vanessa. Okay. We've been living here since April 4th. Okay. And whenever you ride, I'm always covered. Are you always dressed like this? Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely yeah. looks stunning. Really, really, really nice. So, guys, retro car dogs. If you want to see these two pretty ladies, go to retro car dogs and you'll see these ladies. Have a lovely day, ladies. Yeah, you look awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. MGs, very popular. Lovely UK car. We know these things, guys. Try them. I think this is my right. It's a TR4. Very nice cars. Moving on over here. I love the vibe. There's lots of people out here. Vibe. There's food stalls, all that kind of thing. So people are really going to get into the spirit of things. Lancia, very nice motor cars. Don't see too many. I think this might be the HE. Very, very nice. Very nice car. This Alpha GTV. I know guys may have negative. I've never owned one, but the engine note, the engine sound that comes out of this two and a half liter V6 is astronomical. Part of driving cars, I think, is modern cars are safe. You don't have to drive them, they drive you. The old cars, you've got to drive them, and this, you've got to drive because it's going to be tail happy. It's going to have a beautiful engine note, and a lot of modern cars will leave it behind, but it's not what that's about. It's just the pure thrill of driving it. No, Ferrari. Porsche, forgive me for not giving you a lot of technical information because I don't know all the technical information about these cars. Just giving you something of what's available in South Africa in terms of car shows. A true champion back in the day. XR6 Ford Cortina 3 litre. They came out here as 2 litres 1600s and the police had them and there was interceptors with three carburetors and all sorts of things. Back in the day, studying car really, really, really went very, very well. I remember fondly when I was studying in Europe, drove one of these in Germany. All the students used to have them back in the 70s and as uh, student cars. Very, very nice little Citroen C2 or CV2, I think it is. This is a particularly nicely restored one. A very, very pretty little motor car, really, really nice. And uh, really well maintained, lovely to see it here. Moving on to one that you've probably seen in videos before. Uh, my son's... Uh, BMW 87 525e, lovely car, really enjoyed the drive out here today, uh, gave it a good wash and a clean yesterday, awesome, moving on to V12 Jaguar, those of you who know your Jaguars, also a lovely motor car, roof down, top down, they say when the top comes down the price goes up, but moving on over here, let's, let's pop down to this line here, Corvette, those of you who know it, okay, Stingray, this is a particularly vicious one when it pulled in here it was really making a lot of noise look at the cars coming in now guys some nice cars coming in we'll hopefully catch them all on camera that comes a nice Merc convertible i don't know if it's a 450 or a 280 we'll have a look it sounds like a 280 huh? it's a 280 sl okay so you have a look at this stunning lovely lovely restoration lovely modification you can see it's been modded very, very nice. Next to it, I'll beat it. Austin Healy 3000. 
beautiful, beautiful car. Also, it sounds lovely, motor's beautiful, stunning motor car. There we go to those of you who like your hot rods, Harder. This is a four door, but you can see it's a heavy one. It's got discs on the front, it looks like it's got discs on the back. Beautiful car, very cool. Okay. Don't see many of them on with a big bubble window on the Ooh, back. Ooh, Barracuda. Very, yeah. Ooh, Barracuda, like the song. Yeah, absolutely. Rolls Royce, those of you who got the deep pockets, you want to maintain one of them, lovely, lovely car. I think this is a Rambler. Ah, I'm right. <laughs> I do know a little bit. A Rambler also. Don't see many of them around. Volvo, beautiful. There's so many lovely, pristine cars. I think this is what I love. There's a lot of original cars. There's a lot of uh, restored cars. Like this, look at this, guys. Come have a look inside here. Look at this. Beautiful horse, easy. Let's have a look at the interior of this thing. It's, it's just real classic motoring. Really, it sits slightly off center because of the wheel well inside. And how pretty is that car inside? Astronomical, very, very nice. So, yeah, so here we go from a beautiful classic like this to American muscle again, you know, because it's awesome. It's just a mixed bag of tricks here. It's just so nice. You see everything and anything here, which is really lovely. I'm not even sure what it is. That's a GTO. Shows you I don't know my American muscle so much. Little Triumph. Also, lovely car. So these are all little cars back in the day, and I hope that you guys remember these cars or go and look them up. And those of you young guys want to get into this market, do so. It's a great market to be in. Alpha, Mustang, Carl Beaton. Beautiful Mustang Mac 1. I think this is a Mac 1, Mac 2. Let's go, let's look at the bit. Rover in black, also another British four lovely, lovely car. Again, big cruisers back in the day, guys. The middle, upper middle management, the guys that see here, the companies had these things. Very nice. Then you go into a car that needs a whole shipyard. And look at this. Look, look, look at it. Oh, Chrysler. How nice is that? Look how nice that is. That's just randomly pulling in while we're driving here. Beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Maybe, maybe you need something that Someone switch your hair dry off. Yeah, that's a little Messerschmitt. So, uh, Fleetwood, big American vehicles. Massive. I know there's a big following them for them. How awesome is that? Got an air show going at the same time, guys. Beautiful. This is the, I mean, you can see advertised there, straight six. I think it's a blue flame motor, if I remember. The Americans, they call it the blue flame engine, MG. Back one Mustang over there. Welcome, um, Brian. Ah, and there, hiding away, is uh, my mate Brian. He's hiding there, he doesn't like the camera, so hi, Brian. <laughs> he's hiding away. Never wants me to interview him, he's got a lot of cars I've got to show you, but he doesn't want me to interview him. That's going to be interesting. Maybe the Ferrari, that was my favorite. You've probably seen it on Top Gear as well. Richard Hammond driving it. This is a particularly nice Ferrari. Lovely, lovely car. So he has a nice little Morris. Brian, my mate, has got one as well like this. Awesome little Morris. Absolutely lovely. Okay, hey guys, so stay tuned for part two. So remember to subscribe, like, share, follow us on our Instagram, TikTok. Follow us there, guys. Don't forget Richard Car Dog. So stay tuned for part two that's going to be coming up shortly. Bye for now.